It is now 1116. Betsy Kling, it was a great weekend, a great Monday. What's on tap for tomorrow and the rest of the week? Well, so uh, we kind of have some rain chances that begin to come back into the picture. We need okay. the rain at this point. That's certainly good, but we're getting a little bit spoiled. Have you noticed a lot of people when you start talking about the weather, they say this is the nicest summer I can remember. Yes, I have and heard that for a lot of folks. It is. We've had a lot of dry yeah. weather. That's good and bad, but uh, it certainly has been warm and toasty and we've seen plenty of sunshine. Warm and muggy to begin your day tomorrow. High clouds are going to be with us. We're going to have clouds and sun in the evening, but what happens in between is where things Things get a little bit interesting. Radar sweep right now is dry here in Northeast Ohio, but we're actually watching these storms that are centered up into Wisconsin at this point, and you can kind of see how things are beginning to move off to the southeast. There's a frontal boundary that's draped across the Great Lakes, and a frontal boundary can provide a focus, a little bit of a pathway for the storms to form. So as we're watching these storms, if they maintain and even could grow as we go through the night tonight, we would then inherit those sometime mid to uh, late morning tomorrow potentially. So National Design Mart on the larger scale heading uh, through the next 12 to 24 hours. You can see how the thunderstorms develop here and then track down to the southeast and begin to uh, enter into our western horizon by the time we hit noon tomorrow. So we'll pick it up on the local scale. Your temperatures are in the low and mid 80s, still plenty humid in northeast Ohio. Note that it's a northwest wind that's at Cleveland. Farther south though, it'll be a south wind that we have coming in and uh, you can kind of see how the thunderstorms come in mid afternoon, late morning, early afternoon. Uh, we're going to start keeping an eye out for all of this to begin moving in though as we go through the morning and then in the afternoon the scattered shower and storm chances will be with us. Then things fade away. So we get the chances for storms, then they fade away. We're going to do it all over again on Wednesday. In the meantime though, you can see Tuesday evening is going to be pretty nice for us. As a matter of fact, uh, the tribe going to be taking on the twins again. We're going with 79 for a game time temp with that mix of clouds and sun. Dry weather is expected. Let's get you caught up on what's happening with the uh, tropics because uh, we may end up getting some of the remnants of all of this. Marco is now a tropical depression. It's sitting right here near New Orleans, not doing much of anything right now. Laura, on the other hand, has uh, been scraping the western tip of Cuba and will continue to move into the Gulf of Mexico. It is right Right now, a strong tropical storm, and as it continues to move into the Gulf of Mexico, there's a couple things at play. Number one, we've had a tropical system that's already gone through the middle of the Gulf. That can churn up colder water. So sea surface temperatures are a really big deal when you're talking about hurricane forecasting. That's one of the unknowns as far as the strengthening of the storm system. The path, though, still looks like it's going to start to move up towards somewhere between Houston and New Orleans, scooping up whatever is left of Marco, and then continuing to move it north, which is why we're really interested in how this is going to go. Uh, you can see that the storm is expected to intensify. Lots of different uh, changes possible on this, but possibly making landfalls a cat too, and then hooking up into the Ohio Valley potentially by the time we hit late week and into the weekend. So your National Design Mart, uh, excuse me, your Universal Windows Direct Outlook has the temperatures going up as we head through the next few days. But once we get toward the weekend, that's when things could become uh, a little bit different because we could end up getting more rain from that system, but as of right now, it looks like it's actually going to be a cooling system for us and we'll hang out in the 80s through the rest of next week, Russ. All right, Betsy, thank you.